Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hey fish family, welcome back to Tabarak Aquatics. I am Ross and you're here in my fish room. Uh, real fast, uh, first of all, forgive me if I sound real funny and nasally and stuff like that. I'm going through a sinus infection, but uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and keep it moving. Um, real fast, I am doing some maintenance down here in the fish room and I am cleaning out um, my canister filter let me show you uh, this filter right here goes on this tank that tank is very very murky and cloudy and stuff like that and I'm quite certain that it is the uh, canister filter that is causing that so uh, I figured um, somebody out there somewhere wants to know how I clean out a canister filter and what's the best uh, method uh, in order to uh, clean your canister filter without causing any harm and also uh, while we're going through that we can uh, go through how I set up my trays and my filtration and why all right hold tight let's get into it all right so first thing I'm going to do uh, I got my siphon and my bucket and what I'm going to do the best thing to do is to go ahead and use uh, tank water uh, now, also sometimes what I do is I go ahead and take water from the faucet and pour it in the bucket, but I do put the chlorinator in that water, okay? But today, since this is the most popular method, I'm going to go ahead and use tank water. And the reason why is because you don't want to use water straight out the faucet or whatever um, without using the chlorinator anyway, because uh, that chlorine in that water is uh, it's going to kill your beneficial bacteria. That chlorine is in that water to kill bacteria. That's its job, to kill bacteria to make the water uh, safe for human consumption. However, uh, that chlorine in the water will kill a lot of the beneficial bacteria and not only will it kill the beneficial bacteria, but it would also um, distort and burn uh, the fish's uh, gills and the slime coat and everything and really, really put your fish uh, under duress. But um, the, the reason why we're doing it right now, though, is so that we don't kill the beneficial bacteria that's uh, in those um, filter pads and stuff like that. All right. All right, y'all. So this is a Pinplax uh, Cascade canister filter and this is um, one of the first filters that I bought because it's cost efficient. Um, I, I do understand how you know everyone everyone's in love with the um, the flu wall um, filters, canister filters. I understand that. Um, I love them too. However, um, this thing here was just like a hundred and some change, <laughs> you know, in comparison to spending uh, four hundred dollars uh, on a. Blue Ball FX6. Uh, this, this canister filter did just fine. I mean, it lasts a long time. Uh, uh, it, it just depends on how many, you know, how deep you are into the game, how many fish you're keeping. All right, so this is me opening this up. Um, I take it, I put all the stuff into this bucket back here that has the uh, tank water in it. And this is some of my media. This is some fluoride uh, media that I have. Now this right here, I'm going to keep it separate. And what I can do is I put this, cover this up, and you know, shake that, give that a quick little rinse through, because I don't want to have that flying all over the place. All right. So I'm gonna have to work pretty fast because I don't want to dry up, dry up everything, and kill all my beneficial bacteria that's in there. All right, so what I, this, um, the way this water flow through this uh, filter is that it comes through, it goes down to the bottom, and it flows up through all the media and through the hose into the tank. So, with that said, I want to put all of my um, coarse media on the, uh, on the bottom and on my filter, on my filter floss on my floss pads and stuff like that I will put that on the top okay so these are my floss pads I think I'm going to go ahead and replace all of these floss pads that'll probably be the best thing to do so I'm going to go ahead and toss that uh, into that bucket so you don't want to kill 
it depends on how mature your tank is. If you got good media going on and your tank is very mature, you can do stuff like throw floss away. But do understand that when you throw those floss pads away, you also you also uh, all that detritus and dirt and gunk in there, it's um, it's holding it's, it's beneficial bacteria. So when you throw that floss away, you are you are throwing away uh, beneficial bacteria. So do be mindful of that, and you have to ask yourself. Is your tank mature enough? Can you afford to throw away anything that's holding uh, beneficial bacteria? I say yes, I can. Recently, I just uh, took about five fish out of this tank and gave them away. Okay? So, uh, I did uh, lighten up the bio load in here. And also, I do have uh, Seacom Stability that I'm going to use. So, I use Seacom Stability in this tank when um, I do, you know, anything big like a uh, filter cleans or anything like that. Um, the reason is, is that the secret stability is beneficial bacteria in the bottom, and you want that because you don't want your tank to crack. All right? So, I'm trying to make this fast because I know uh, I definitely don't want to use your attention, but I want to show anybody who's looking to try to learn how to do this. So I put all this back so I don't lose track of what I'm doing. Put all this back in there. I don't want to lose track of what I'm doing. I think I said that. So it's there. It's there. put this one on top all right so this is my finest my finest sponge uh, filter pad and there we go and down here I have some lava rock okay this is my lava rock. I do use different types of um, media in here. So this lava rock, the full purpose of that lava rock is for beneficial bacteria. So you have uh, things in here that you're using for mechanical filter as far as cleaning the water, cleaning the junk out, um, cleaning those particles out. So this is my very coarse, as you can see this is a very coarse sponge pad. So you know, so you have, um, when you set up your canister filter, you got to think about, I want, uh, I want to do the best. So I want to clean the water. I want to clean all the junk out and stuff like that, clean the water. Um, I also want to house uh, beneficial bacteria because the majority of your beneficial bacteria is going to be housed in your canister filter. So uh, how you set your filter up, a lot of people, you know, everybody pretty much do this differently. But the way I set mine up is so that being that the water comes in and flows straight to the bottom, the way I set this up is that I got, uh, at the very bottom, I got a, a lot of um, uh, uh, lava rock at the very bottom, and that is to break, break that, make that water break up and oxygenate as it hits the, the bottom. And then when it come up, I wanted to, first thing, pull all those big particles out using this very coarse filter pad, okay? And then when it comes to this very coarse filter pad, then I wanted to hit this lava rock. And the reason why is because if I have all of the, the, the detritus and everything hit this first, these pores in this lava rock is gonna get um, congested. It's gonna get clogged up and I'm not gonna be able to it's going to kill some of the uh, uh, biological uh, bacteria. And I'm not going to be able to um, take a full advantage of the porous uh, lava rock. So, hit the uh, coarse uh, filter first, come up, hit the lava rock, you know, keep, you know, keep all that, you know, flow through, keep uh, feeding the biological bacteria, whatever detritus, whatever junk, uh, nit uh, ammonia, nitrates that. I'm sorry, ammonia nitrites that's in the water. And then uh, when it come up through there, I wanted to hit 
this is where I'm going to put my filter floss in here. Once I cut that, I'm going to go cut some pinky floss out and put it in here. And then what it's going to do, very last, is hit this. So when it hit this, and this is being at the top, it's going to flow through here, and this is my fluidized um, filter media. So this is my moving filter media, and this holds a lot of beneficial bacteria. So that's how I set this particular, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot about this part right here. So this is, it hits this, and then it hits the fire, because I want to break all of it down before it hit the filter floss, so that the filter floss don't get uh, real gunked up and jammed up, um, causing me to have to uh, go in and out this canister filter all the time to make changes, all right? All right, y'all, now that I have all the uh, sponge filters and everything uh, rinsed out and I cut out the, um, the floss and everything and put those back in that tray, I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, how I got the setup. This is for those of you who are interested. Um, I'm just gonna show you. All right, so uh, this down here at the bottom, like I said, the water comes through and it comes and it hits the bottom first. So I have, Lava rock down here at the very bottom. And the purpose of that is so that when the water hits the bottom, it breaks up and hits this lava rock. And I'm hoping that this will be a place where I can get um, I can get uh, some some good bacteria uh, going on as far as the um, anoxic bacteria, you know, with uh, or hypoxic bacteria with low low oxygen or no oxygen uh, that is a uh, type of bacteria that if you can ever achieve that that will uh, eat the eat away at the nitri uh, nitrates okay uh, if you're looking for different ways of eating nitrates uh, usually uh, most people have a very very deep uh, bed of uh, sand in, in their tanks to achieve that uh, you can also do that uh, certain ways with your filtration but it's extremely difficult to do that in the filtration because the nature of your filter is that with all that agitation the nature of your filter is that it produces oxygen believe it or not uh, you know it brings oxygen into that filter because your uh, beneficial bacteria also needs oxygen to live okay so anyway got that down there I'm trying to move fast I don't want to bore y'all to death okay so my next thing is, is I have the the coarse media these are coarse sponges very coarse all right put them down in there and I want to make sure that it's seated correctly because I don't I want everything to fall in here the way it's supposed to so I want to do that I have to level out these, these rocks So this thing can sit down in there and seat down in there nice and flush. Alright, okay, this is doing it. Yep, it is nice and flush. So I got my next uh, tray of lava rock that goes on top of that. So the purpose of like I said, the purpose of having that that very coarse media is to catch all the big debris so that it don't come up and, and clog up my uh, lava rock. And anything that makes it through there and makes it through that lava rock there is going to next hit this this next level of sponge which is a medium uh, as far as the coarseness is concerned medium sponge okay so put that in there all right if I had more trays like the ones that I do have more trays I'll show you where I go from a coarse to a medium to a fine sponge and then to um, my floss but I don't have enough room I don't have enough trays in this one here all right so the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, moving media here now nah, I'm going to go ahead and do what I normally do I put my, my uh, floss here because I want the cleanest water possible I want the cleanest water possible hitting this so I did cut out my pinky pinky floss pads this is packed a little too much but once the water wets it is going to flatten out once it gets wet it'll flatten out all right and then 
here is my moving media. I put that in. All right. And everything lined up right. Always check the holes. Make sure your holes are lined up so that everything can flow through the way it's supposed to. Okay. All right. Line that up. Drop that in. Now, the science behind this is that you want as, as much flow and oxygen to oxygenate your um, beneficial bacteria because like I said the uh, beneficial bacteria depends on the uh, ammonia the ammonia and the uh, nitrites that it consumes but it also needs oxygen just like your human just like the human body uh, you you need oxygen in order to metabolize you know, the glucose and the sugar and, and, and proteins and so forth is in your cells, in your cells. So uh, that's how I set this up. So once I set that up, next thing you know, I'm going to take and I'm going to fill this up with, um, and that's what? Water, water from my tank, tank water. Again, why do we do that? Because we don't want to kill the beneficial bacteria we already disturbed a lot of the beneficial bacteria by doing this uh, filter clean, and we don't want to kill the beneficial bacteria that's left over, all right? So, I don't think we all gonna have to bore ourselves with uh, the rest of the details. Uh, thank you for uh, checking in. Uh, I know that uh, this is not exciting because it's not about fish, it's about maintenance. Most people don't want to talk about that. However, they are, there, there is somebody out there that needs to know this and uh, so here you are, this is me sharing with you um, a good way of uh, doing maintenance on your canister filter and how you want to do it and why you want to do it a certain way so that you can uh, optimize your cleaning and also not killing your beneficial bacteria. Excuse that noise, I got a bunch of little girls <laughs> who come down here. They love daddy. Y'all know how it is. Hey, 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 let me do this. Good Lord. <laughs> Little girls, right? Anyway, y'all, uh, until next time, happy fish keeping. This is my little angel fish. Come on, mama. Come on, mama. You're making this noise. Come on. Until next time, y'all, uh, happy fish keeping. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, if you haven't uh, hit that like button, hit that like button. I should have said that a long time ago. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Until next time, happy fish keeping. Assalamu alaikum. Rahman salahi. Where better catch you?